Hey guys, welcome to our Maximo Explained series. Today we're going to talk about the top three features that we see across all industries that really help drive an improvement in the maintenance, the operations, the quality, efficiency, and help drive shareholder value for those enterprises that adopt Maximo. And we're really talking about the core of Maximo, Maximo Manage, not necessarily mobile and the other components within the Maximo application suite. So when we look at it from that perspective, the three things that we feel are probably the core at driving value when properly used now these may surprise you are number one failure hierarchy the ability to establish a problem cause remedy hierarchy and to have that be a standard to have it applied to asset classes to be able to record it against the work you've performed to be able to identify within various areas of the product uh, including in a job plan which is going to touch on one of our other top ones but using the app designer to add a field to your job plan and to say this is what this plan remedies add that remedy code incredibly powerful why because good failure reporting drives our historical analysis for future predictive maintenance activities so when we're looking at what do we want ai to leverage if there was one piece of data that's the most important it would be your failure history why did it fail second one which i just touched on there the app designer and that's probably people are going what what are you talking about a screen designer here's why it's so important when you take a product that is usable across dozens of industries and very disparate things, we have oil and gas, we have aviation, you know, we have nuclear, we have life sciences, we have general manufacturing, we have wastewater, we, you know, it's all over the map, right? You get the picture. The ability to control the way your screen is presented to your users so that it captures the right data for you and it flows the way you need it to flow so that it works the way the people work in your enterprise is insanely powerful. What we know from this is when done properly, you get a great user adoption, meaning a high percentage of people adopt it quickly. Then what happens from there is they give you good data. What's good data? Complete and accurate data. And the screen designer, that app designer is critical in terms of giving those users the presentation they need so that they can give you the feedback that you need as an enterprise. So, uh, that app designer is probably the number one thing within the product that helps us ensure we get good data back from the users. So uh, that's one of our top three. And then the third one is going to be the, the workflow engine. And that's because the business process that enterprises adopt are typically very complex, very nuanced. They have a lot of very specific things to the way they operate as well as regulatory requirements, including which department passes, you know, the, the ball from A to B in what order, who's allowed to approve, how many people need to approve, what, what threshold, so many nuances and, and control mechanisms within business processes. And the workflow engine in Maximo lets us do that. It lets us do it across all of the applications within the Maximo application overall. It's incredibly powerful. And so that 
helps us ensure that what we're doing is staying on track. And then of course that workflow engine also sends out the notifications. So it keeps the business moving in accordance with the standardized practices and processes you've defined. So quick recap when we're looking at that, again, I have a failure hierarchy that gives me the ability to capture the most critical data that will get me to predictive. I have a screen designer that makes sure the application works the way my people work and I have a workflow engine that makes sure we are compliant with our processes. If I only had those three tools, truth of the matter is, I bet 95% of our customers would be in a better spot than they are now if they only focused on those three and implemented them well. A um, lot of room for improvement out there. Uh, Maximo is a hugely complex tool with a lot of capabilities. It makes it very easy to lose sight of what is the most important versus what would I like to have. So our recommendation is as you're looking at an upgrade to the application suite, you know, go back to the drawing board a bit, look at these top three and ask yourself, are we really using these properly? Are we getting everything we can out of them? If you're not, I would start with those. So if you aren't using these top three features fully, uh, that's something you really want to look at in the process of your next upgrade or if you're going to the application suite. And if you're wondering how you're going to generate the best value out of them, you know, this might be a good time to go dig into that business value assessment and dig into the processes and say, hey, since we first implemented Maximo way back when, how have we grown? How have our processes changed? What are we doing differently? And uh, a business value assessment is gonna bring all of that into the fold. It's gonna look at the, the things you're doing well. It's gonna look at the opportunities for improvement and map those to the application suite or or just core Maximo if that's what you're looking at and help identify those opportunities for improvement. And along the way, actually put some numbers to it. So you can say, hey, if we're gonna put, you know, 500K in, we're gonna get 1.5 million out. Well, hey, that's what you wanna take the management. So love to hear your thoughts on this. Love to hear your comments. Look forward to talking to you guys.